In the month of January, all of our core groups are going to be going through core purpose. This is Justin and Rachel. You guys have been through it multiple times. Uh, Rachel, tell us um, what's something you've learned about yourself through core purpose? Because we learn about gifts, abilities, personality, and life experiences. What's something for you? One of my top gifts is discernment. And I would just say that it's taken me a long time to just trust that God is telling me what I need to know in that situation that I'm sitting in. It, that's actually mine as well. That's my top gift. Um, what I love about the gifts, tell me if this was true for you. Um, I, I used to feel guilty because of how I thought about certain situations or people or things that I would say, maybe I shouldn't be involved in that or just didn't have the right feeling. I just felt bad. Did you ever deal with that? Absolutely. Um, it's really hard not to feel guilty when you feel like a situation is wrong, but that's where I have to go and get guidance sometimes from somebody else that's in leadership in the church or mm -hmm. just go to God and ask, is this the right feeling? Did you, you know, is this what I'm feeling yep. is correct? And what, and knowing you have that gift, now you're able to use that, exercise that and, and in the body of Christ and be so uh, helpful. Now, Justin, uh, you have a gift that I don't have. <laughs> Tell everybody about the yeah. gift that you, you get. Craftsmanship is my gift. Um, so it just brings me a lot of joy just to, to build things. And whether it's doing stuff on the design team here or um, personal projects. Um, this stage that we are on, this guy built it. Yeah. Um, just try to learn. Um, and I think just what we've been learning that God gives us these abilities, you know, and even when we think that we might not have that ability, mm -hmm. it's there. You but know, you struggled because you, you do so many things that it's hard for you to say no. But talk about that. Yeah. My, my head tells me to help out in many, many different areas, basically just to say yes when somebody asks. Yeah. And it, it took to the point of getting burned out to say, hold on, I need to focus on what my gifts are. What, you know, what are the talents that God has given me? This is what's so great when you learn those things and you know where you should be spending the majority of your time and where you could be the most productive and, and bring the greatest contribution. Now, Rachel, what would you say to somebody who's not gone through core purpose uh, or maybe gone through it? Why should they go through it again? Why is it important? Um, I think it's really important because in every season of your life, you're changing. And with that, core purpose will change too. And it'll show you different areas that you might need to work on or where you're strong in that season. And so we've been through it so many times and we'll continue to keep going through it each year. It's crazy, isn't it? Like every time you go through it, you learn a little bit more of who you are. And then sometimes you see things, like you said, they change because of the season you're in. Sometimes it's the age of your kids. Sometimes it's no kids. Sometimes it's uh, the job that you're in, all these different things. And it's so important to go through it every year. Um, and you guys are leading a group. So if you want to get into a group, you can join Justin and Rachel in their group. Just grab a Next Step card, fill it out. We'll get in contact with you.